Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. I believe Aang can save the world. She'll be here any minute. But this is our pie show day, Iroh. <laughs> Do not worry, my friend. The director assured me this would only take a few minutes of our time. Just to confirm some details. Hello, Mr. Iroh. And there she is. Gentlemen, so pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zong Ying. The director of the Ba Sing Se Players. Welcome to the Jasmine... As you know, the Ember Island Players production of The Boy in the Iceberg was said to have contained certain, let us say, historical inaccuracies. Ugh. And given that the great former general's dear, dear nephew is about to become the new Fire Lord, well, it seemed obvious that the play needed... A refresh. I am so proud of Zuko. Ah, yes, yes, as we all are. Which is why I wish to mount a brand new production. And who better to tell the tale, to set the record straight, if you will, than you three, who have seen it all. You could say that. No, I have. And I did. And so, I entreat you, my dear, eminent, respected, wise, and dare I say, more than a little handsome gentleman? to lavish upon me the tale of the Avatar from the beginning. From the beginning? If you please, I will listen and record for all posterity the real, true story. Not one embellishment, not one! This should take no time at all, as you will speak freely without interruption, certainly not from me. I will be quiet as a lizard mouse, <laughs> quieter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Very well. Allow me to begin. People often talk about the calm before the storm. But this story begins with the storm before the calm. And... Oh, storm before the calm. How clever. My, don't you have a silver tongue? Do go on. Lizard mouse. Lizard mouse. Thank you. Now, as I was saying... The storm before the calm. No way!
in a storm. The Avatar found himself overwhelmed, as did Appa, and they plunged into the ocean. The Avatar and his bison remained in the ice for 100 years, until Katara and her brother Sokka discovered him. How could this boy in the iceberg possibly be the long-lost Avatar? At first, Sokka was suspicious. But Aang's charm and true nature eventually won him over. The three became fast friends, and Aang was welcomed by the people of the Southern Water Tribe. But soon, Aang would make a discovery that would set him back on the path to his destiny as the Avatar.
We can keep going. Oh, yeah!
can get through. Aang and Katara sprang a trap, endangering the village. Told to leave the village, Aang flew away on Appa, but saw that the trap had attracted a Fire Nation ship. He had to get back and help them. returned to the village and faced Zuko. He surrendered so the Fire Nation would leave the village alone. Taken to Zuko's ship, Aang soon manages to escape imprisonment.
Look now. to it. I am Zuko, and you will be my prince. over to restore my honor. Did you see that? Aang! Are you okay? Hey, Katara. Hey, Sokka. Thanks for coming. Well, I couldn't let you have all the glory. 
After escaping from Prince Zuko, the Avatar excitedly flew his friends to the Southern Air Temple, the home he had run away from 100 years prior. He felt shame for abandoning his old mentor, Gyatso, and for running away from his responsibility. Aang entered the Air Temple Sanctuary, expecting to meet someone who could help him on his Avatar journey. Instead, he found Momo, a flying lemur who became Aang's friend. Upon exploring the Air Temple further, Aang made a startling discovery no. and was forced to confront a dark truth. All the Air Nomads, including Aang's friends and his mentor, had been wiped out by the Fire Nation. He became overwhelmed and entered the Avatar state, which would have led to disaster if not for Katara. And that's when Aang faced the hardest truth of all. He was the last of his people. The last airbender. He felt he needed the advice of the Avatar who'd come before him, Roku, but didn't know how to get it. So Aang and his friends continued on their journey. 